How's it going everyone? Cub here. Welcome back to Hermitcraft. Last time we went on a shopping spree, we enchanted our elytra, and we also made a bunch of maps in anticipation of today, hopefully mapping out the entirety of the island here on Hermitcraft. I've been gathering a little bit more gunpowder here, and we also are going to need some wool for banners. So I'm going to grab a little bit of wool here. I've made some shears here with our very small supply of remaining iron. So let's go ahead and see if we can grab ourselves some wool here. We're going to need to dye this wool into different colored banners. And I think we're going to assign each person a different color. This horse, don't jump into the sheep pen, man. Don't, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> he wants to, but hopefully he won't. Anyway, let's go ahead and just get all this wool we can here. And hopefully we can find the dyes to make some banners. Because we need we need quite a number of banners. Because we have a lot of people playing on Hermitcraft right now. And he did it. The madman. What a guy. He did indeed jump in. Okay. That's fine. Everything is okay. It's not going to be a total disaster getting out of here. Okay. There we go. It was actually pretty easy. Nice. Alright. So how much wool did we get? We got over a stack of wool. That's not going to be enough. So we're going to have to come back here and get some more. Uh, by the way... I did visit Ren's shop off camera in the previous episode, so I think I'm going to go back here. It's pretty, it's pretty cheap to get uh, to get some of these things. 32 rail. I know Ren's making a rail network in this season, so we might have to get him some rail. I think we have over 32 rail, but that gets us a whole stack of chicken. Yeah, you see, we've we've uh, he's had some purchases here, so that's fantastic. Uh, and yeah, I think I might. Let me see if I actually have any rail in here right now. I don't think I do. No, I don't. I don't. But yeah, we will be back here and probably purchasing some chicken from Ren throughout the season. Uh, this building, by the way, is very nice. It's supposed to be like a tavern type of area. And it has like a little boat dock over here and everything. So I just wanted to show this because I don't think I showed this as part of the shopping spree. But uh, yeah, I do think it's a pretty nice, nice shop. Even if it is in the incorrect area here. Um, tip jar, there's beds here. Yeah, so it's a nice little location where you can sleep. That's sort of in the cent center of the map as well. So that's fantastic. Let's go ahead and make our way back out here. See if our horse wandered off. Of course he did. Uh, I'm going to find my horse and we're going to go back to the base. And we're going to see if we can start filling out some of these maps. Alright guys, so we're back at the base now. And we're going to get some gunpowder out here. I think we should have a little bit of paper at least. So this should give us a little bit of rockets. Still kind of strange that they don't have any rocket recipes in here, uh, considering how sort of crucial these things are for moving with the elytra. Like, you basically can't do it without rockets, uh, and not having it in the crafting recipe. At least the tier ones, uh, or the tier... Like, there's only three of them, right? So they could put all three in here, honestly, but... Um, yeah, I'm not sure why they haven't done that yet. Anyways, uh, we got over a stack of rockets here, which is not too shabby. And I also have some stuff I need to put away here. I'm going to gather a little bit more sugar cane here. And then I think we can start to explore a little bit. Start to map out things a little bit. So let's go ahead and... We will just grab some more sugar cane here real briefly. There we go. Make ourselves some more paper. And then head out and start to map the area. Alright guys, so here's what we're going to do here for the map. So we have this map of our starter base right here. We're going to go to the north here and map out five maps to the north. That might be too few or it might be too many. I'm not really sure. But we'll have to determine that as we go. And once those are done, we should be able to determine more accurately like the scale of this whole thing. So let's go ahead and do this. We'll put this in the offhand here. And we also need to grab the elytra. Pop this on here. We have very little armor and also our boots have already broken, by the way. So we got to be a little bit careful here. I'm going to put out the five maps like so. Going to break this chest and let's go ahead and get on up. Take this right on up here. Very good. And so let's go ahead and go this way. We're going to go to the north and start to map out the region. Alright, so once we get into the next region, fill out the map. Alright, nothing too major here wait until we get to the next region fill out that one yeah this is so much easier than it otherwise would be i'll fill out the next one 
Alright, we're getting out to Scar's Pirate Island area now. And it looks like we might need another one here, perhaps. Or maybe not. Actually, I think we might be okay. Yeah, we might be okay with this as the northern extent. We'll see. Let's head back to the base. I want to fill out a few more maps and see how the, uh, the general shape of the island is looking on the maps. Alright guys, so we now have this first column of maps done, and it's looking like the island might fit on this. We'll see. I think that, basically, we might have some people's bases just outside of this map. We'll have to see, though. I know Cleo's base is, like, right off the, the coast here. So we'll have to see if that one makes it on or not. If not, we can always add in another uh, row up top here. Now we're going to go to the east, see if we're alright in the east direction. So we're going to grab these maps off of here like so. There we go, just like that. And we're also going to grab this one right here. Very good. And we're going to go to the east and see if we can fill this out and make sure we can fit the whole island in in this direction. Alright guys, we now have a row filled out here. And as you can see, it's almost as wide as the island right here at this point. And I think the island gets wider as you go up like into this region here and into this region over here as well. So we may need to expand the maps onto the side a little bit and vertically as well. But we'll have to... Double check that and make totally sure uh, if that's the case once we get all the rest of these filled out. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to go ahead and fly around, fill out all these maps, and we'll sort of reevaluate and see where we're at. Alright guys, so here's the main island as it currently stands. We've now filled out uh, all the maps we had initially here. And I'm thinking we need to go a little bit bigger. So we need to increase the size of the map. I think I'm going to go one bigger all the way around. So... Add one row on the top, one row on this side, one row on the bottom, and one row on the opposite side. So we're going to need to basically clear this part out, essentially. So we're going to clear all this out, we'll clear all this out. There we go. And so now everything, everything here will have an additional item frame and a, and a map inside of it. I think that'll be good. Because right now the modern district is cut off down here. Futuristic part, part of it got cut off over here. Cleo, Scar, and Ren on the top here are all sort of on the on the border of being cut off, which doesn't look great. And then over here, this part of the island got cut off in this section. So one more sort of ring around with maps would be nice. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I think we need another like 30-some maps and 30-some item frames. So going to be kind of a big project. Got to go kill some cows. Got to go make some item frames. Got to go get some more iron as well. But I think it'll be worth it in the end. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll do one more ring around this map. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we got the big map complete here. So this is the entire island right here. Or almost the entire island, I should say. We're missing a little section of the island up there. The main island up there. But nobody's living up there right now. So all is good. Uh, we did unfortunately have to cut out Mumbo. We cut out Iskol's area and Stress's area down here at the... Uh, the iceberg biome. Um, and then we cut out Jevon's area as well, unfortunately. We just didn't have enough zoomed in maps. But luckily, we got a zoomed out map. So this map should show everybody I just mentioned here. And yeah, I think it's time for us to go ahead and get this zoomed zoomed out map started. This is a three times zoom, so one less than the max. Uh, but yeah, I think it's time we fill this one out. I'll go ahead and take this one with me as well, I believe, and this one. Yeah, that should work. Fantastic. All right, let me grab the rockets once more, and we got to fill out these larger maps. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we got the big map now filled out. You can see, yeah, we got this whole island filled out here. You might be able to see some potential spoilers on this, uh, potentially if you look really closely, but not going to spoil those right now. Um, yeah, the important thing is, you know, this one shows Mumbo's Islands, it shows Iskol's area and Stress's area, uh, it shows Moonbase Alpha, a little bit of Jevon's area, and then Jassassin is right over here. So, yeah, it shows a lot more people on this map than on the big map right here. Uh, yeah, and so, what we're gonna do now, I'd like to, on both maps, have bases marked out, or where people are currently living marked out. 
And so, yeah, we have new map markers in 113 to allow us to do this. So basically, anytime you place down a banner, let me see if I can get up here and get a banner placed down. If I place down a banner, let's just make one real quick. Let's make a white one real quick because that's all we got for the moment. And then let's say we name this. Let's name this CubFan135. There we go. And I'm just going to put this upstairs in my house. Right. Do I want to place it right here? Yeah, I'll place it right there. There we go. So we'll place that down right there on the wall. Then what we can do is we can come down here, grab our map off of the wall, and then also this one here, I believe, is the one we're on. Yeah, this is the one we're on. Then we'll go back up. And then we can just simply right-click on the map there, and boom, there you go. CubFan135 marked on that map, and then we do this one as well. Boom. CubFan135 marked on this map. So now let's get back down here, place these back down, and we should see... There we are. CubFan135. Sweet. <laughs> and then the same thing on this map. CubFan135. Yeah. So, uh, I'm going to do that for all the hermits. You see, there are some bugs with the maps. Uh, that's going to be fixed soon. Uh, like these, these markers are sometimes blacked out. But like I said, that's fixed soon. Uh, so I want to do that for every hermit. We want to try and get as many different colors as possible for the different hermits. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll be white, I guess. Uh, and I think, yeah, we'll put, you know, like we'll give like a Suma blue. Scar will be orange. False Symmetry will be light blue. Um, Jevin will be lime. You know, we'll, 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 we'll give people different colors and place down banners with their names on it at their bases or around the location of their bases. All right, guys, so just give me an idea of what we're doing here as we go around. You can see we got the global map and we got some local zoomed in maps. So yeah, these are some locations where we either have to go or we've already been. And so we're looking to put down Impulse's banner, for instance, right now. Uh, we're at Wells Co. at the moment. And if we make our way over here. We should come to impulses on this side of the mountain. I think there's an easy access point over here that hopefully we can use, like a water stream down. And we have to do this for every single person's base. Yeah, this is the bay right here. And then I think the water stream is like over in this direction somewhere. So we're going to hop off of Carl here. And yeah, there's the water stream I was talking about right there. So we'll try and make our way over to it. There we go. This allows us to easily get on over to Impulse's base. And so, once we're here, um, let's see, we can go ahead and place down Impulse SV right there. And we just gotta look at which maps he's on. There we go, Impulse. And then there should be another one, like a localized one he's on. Assuming I picked the right one up. So let's see if we can find that one. Is that it? No, that's not it. That's not it. This has got to be the one right here. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. Boom. And there he is. So now he's on the localized map, as well as the global map. Sweet. Okay, cool. So that's all we're doing for every single hermit's base. And yeah, I got a lot more to do, so let's get to it. Alright guys, so we got the maps done now. So we got the big zoomed in map right here with all the names on it. You can see Cubfan, XB, Jevin... Python, etc. And there's some up there, like Scars is up there. We got Impulse right over here. Uh, some people were not on this map. I had to put them on the global map, like Iskull and Stress down here in the frozen ocean biome. Had to put those guys on the big map. But, unfortunately, I have some very bad news, guys. The map markers, the, the banner markers, that I thought were supposed to be persistent on the maps in 113 in fact, suffer from the same glitch that we encountered in Season 5, namely that the markers disappear randomly upon reloading the map or when the server restarts. Um, so that's super frustrating. This map did have about 20 or so names in the appropriate locations, like we had Asuma's name here, Biffa's name here, Gr Grian was here, uh, Impulse was here, Wells was here, etc. And now they're just gone. I don't understand. I don't understand. Even Joe Hills, who was within render distance of me, where I put his marker, 
That's also gone. I don't understand. I do not understand. Very disappointed in that, for sure. Maybe that's on the bug tracker. If you guys know, please let me know in the comments. But, man, that is super upsetting. Spend many hours, you know, placing banners and naming banners and gathering all the resources and traveling out there and placing it down and clicking it with the map. And then it gets all deleted in a single read log. Unbelievable. You know what, guys? We've come too far to stop now. We got the banners up. All we got to do is go back to the other hermit's bases and right-click. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the maps of all the hermit's bases, which are not on the map for some reason now, are not showing. Um, let's see here. Let's get down here. I think TFC is in this spot there. Yeah, that spot there. Uh, let's see. He's in this one. In the upper right corner. Uh, not in that one. And let's see, we also have Biffa missing. Let's grab Biffa from this region somewhere in here. Yep, right there. Grian is, I think, on this map. Or could also be out here. I think it's on that one, though. Uh, let's see, we got Scar over there. Jassassin is missing from over here, so let's grab him. We got... Cleo, Ren, False, Tango is missing from this portion right here. Uh, and then let's get down here. We got Impulse, we got Wells, we got ZF. And that's all from this map, I think. We also want to make sure and grab this one here. Yeah, okay. And then we have a whole bunch missing from this zoomed out map. So we're not giving up. We're going out there. We're going to view the map at least once as it's intended to be viewed. And that's going to be that. So let's go ahead and get out there. I need to grab probably some more fireworks and such. Uh, also grab some more food. And yeah, let's do this. There we have it, guys. That's more like it. So yeah, now you can see all the names we got on the map here. So we got Iskol and Stress down here in the frozen ocean. We got a whole bunch of people. Myself, Jevin, Python, XB, and Joe in the modern area. We got TFC, Asuma, Biffa, and Grian over in the futuristic area. We got Mumbo over here. We got Jassassin up here on this island. Scar's Pirate Island right there with Black Sands Island below. We got Doc. I just put Doc up here because, yeah, he doesn't really have a base right now. He's just a wanderer, so I just put him up there. Uh, Cleo, we got her on her ship over here. Ren, he's got the Ren hole right there, right next to False Symmetry's area. Then we got Tango over here, got Impulse down here, Wells here, and then ZF right over here. And that is the whole map filled out. We also got it filled out over here, so everybody's now on this map again as well. And hopefully it will survive the relog uh, now, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, maybe it was just a glitch the first time with how I right-clicked on the map or something, or I clicked it at the wrong moment. Hopefully it was, uh, because I can't imagine that being intentional that the, the banners don't stay so yeah now that that is fixed now that we got everybody on both maps let's go ahead and we got to get up to the top here we're gonna go ahead and sleep because wills wanted us to there we go perfect he's fearing the phantoms i'm assuming and the next thing we want to do is we need to sync up this nether portal because this is Currently synced to Isuma's area, and we want to fix that right now. So let's see if we get the coordinates here. So it's 85 minus 2, 622. So if we divide those by 8, we get, let's see, 11 and 78. So we need to go to 11 minus 78 in the nether to make this nether portal link up. So let's head on through. And let's see where we need to be at. So let's see. So we're at 12, so 11, and then minus 78. So it looks like right up here somewhere. 12, 11. Here we go. So we're right on. <laughs> we're right on the edge of the lava lake here, living dangerously. And so minus 78 is here. So right here is where we need to be. So let's go ahead and put down our portal here. Uh, let's see, we might as well go ahead and fill in the corners too. Why not? There we go. And then over this way, and then down. Just like that. There we go. And then we'll light it up. Boom. Let's also make sure and 
you know, protect ourselves in this portal here. So that we don't, you know, accidentally... Let's just do this. Just dig around the side here for a moment. There we go. Perfect. And then let's get through here. Very good. Okay, so this should link up, hopefully, to our nether portal here. Let's just uh, put a nice little rail <laughs> right here. And actually, we might want to, like, box it in a little bit. There we go. That should be good enough, I think. All right, let's test it out. Go on through. Hopefully, this leads back to the right one. Yes. Okay, perfect. So there we go. We got our nether portal linked up and everything. Fantastic. So in addition to our portal, we want to add a couple more things. One of those is going to be some cobblestone here so that we can not have to walk across this soul sand. So we're going to make a cobblestone pathway here. Just a very brief, quick pathway through this area. Just so we don't need to walk on soul sand until we get to right here. So let's just put this in like this. There we go. And that right there. Perfect. All right, so that's now done. So the final thing we need to do, we need to mark out our portal with a sign. So this is going to be myself and Joe. So let's go ahead and head on through, assuming we don't lag out here. There we go. Perfect. So do pub plus Joe Hills. There we go. And we'll also mark it over here. Cub plus Joe Hills that way. There we go. Perfect. So guys, with that, I'm going to have to call it an episode for today. Very pleased how the maps turned out. And hopefully all of the symbols here, all of the banners with the names will persist from now on. Hopefully it was just a one-time glitch type thing. But anyways, guys... That'll be it for me today. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. And as always, thanks so much for watching. This has been Cub. Goodbye.